stage engine here. Doing the uh, La Santerra mission, redoing the mission. And I uh, got her captured and taken her to the extraction Rally point. Up ahead. No. And uh, Santa Muerte, why have you forsaken me? If you look at, listen to her voice. Seems like Santa Morte she works with us in the bitch. No. This is just God and Santa Morte testing my faith. I am being tested as fire tests and purifies gold. She sounds to me like she's needing Velasquez. Is Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. From night uh from my name is Earl. <laughs> Just listen to the cut. Santa Morte is my rock. My fortress, my deliverer. And think of Catalina. Wrap your wings around me. Protect me from the storm, and bring your wrath upon my enemies. We've seen your wrath, Santerra, and honestly, we're not impressed. I have done nothing wrong. Santa Muerte is my life and my way. Worshipping her is not against the law. No, but recruiting people into a criminal organization sure as fuck is. Judgment is reserved for God and Santissima Muerte. Maybe in the next life, but not here. You want to earn some absolution? What do you know about Sueño? I am no Judas. No te equivoques. I will never betray Brother Sueño. You know, people like you aren't treated very nicely in prison. Other inmates tend to make their life hell. I have the faith to survive in hell. Hmm. I look forward to testing that faith. Because you've never seen my help. So, based on that cutscene and other things I've heard, I well, really do think that's her. The only thing is, is when I watch the final credits, it does not have her listed as Nadine Velasquez as the, the voice actor. But I've seen and heard, I've seen other people in other movies that played roles where maybe they weren't seen or you heard their voice and you recognize the voice and you go, I know that voice. And then you'll watch the credits or say and it'll say uncredited or it'll just have some you know lame name like john smith or something what happens with actors is if they take a job that they for a friend who's making a movie or if it's less than scale uh the screen actors guild sag is a union and they won't allow that and the only way they can get around that is to use aliases or you know be uncredited for uh whatever role or that they do in the movie or in uh, in this case the game um and she's under contract and she's not supposed to be doing voice work for this company or that they weren't paying her enough you know ubisoft might have paid her you know not as much as she wanted but for like one one day's work which is probably what she put in for this voice acting thing it probably wasn't much and it probably didn't equal scale under SAG's rules so I'm thinking she just didn't take uh, credit it for, credit for it so she could get the money uh, for the job or or again she was just trying to do something maybe different break into a different industry maybe she does a lot of voices for Ubisoft and maybe Ubisoft flew her to Paris to do this voice I mean if he offers me a ticket to Paris and looks a little bit of dough, you know, to, to do a voice, and you're like, oh, well, SAG won't like that. Uh, well, just don't use my name. Use somebody else's name. But it really does sound like her. Uh, if you listen back to some of the My Name Girl episodes, which I've watched all of them, um, you need to listen to her, Catalina's voice. That is her. I mean, that is exactly her. There's several times where you can just go yep that's her but uh that's all i have I, I i brought that up because uh somebody on uh reddit said that they heard karen bowman in the new division 2 trailer 
Uh, they, they heard her voice, and I was like, well, yeah, there's probably a lot of repeat voiceovers. Whoa, this is going to be close. Whoa. <laughs> that was that was seriously uh you know what's that director that always does that jj abrams or has all the explosions the guy who's the guy who did transformers i can't think of who the guy who did transformers but that that was a cutscene from from like a transformers movie or a jerry bruckheimer you know the rock or something like that you know some kind of action movie but uh yeah uh, oh, yeah, I wanted to go check and see how we're doing on our monthly community challenge. We have one day and 23 hours, and we only have to get double, more than double than what we already have. You know, we have to double our numbers and a little bit more than that in that time frame. Jeez, in one day and 23 hours, yeah, be soft. Come on. Give us the crate. Give it to us free. You, you, you messed up. Whoever calculated this was way off. And, you know, it wasn't even close. And they should have known, basically, based on the Yeti. Like, um, here, I'll just go to, go to my Ghost Recon page here. Let's see. Where's the one? Where's my most recent post? Uh, let's go to the community challenge craziness and ghost recon. Basically, I, I put I made a prediction here. It says PC community currently at 120,000 of a 350,000, with a, the goal with nine only nine days remaining. I tracked an average of eight every three minutes, so I did the math, and it came out to 34,000 more that we could get onto that. 120,000 which would put us at 154,000 which probably because everybody knows it ain't gonna happen it's slowed down even more but if you look at the numbers in the game you know if you look at the challenge numbers we're right around that 154,000 we got one day and 23 hours left so I might you know when the price is right maybe I should win the crate just for guessing <laughs> the uh, amount of uh, of these cartel influence operators we would take out uh, the PC community in that uh, remaining time but there was just no way we were going to do this it, it, the number was way too high if they'd have made it 2000 we probably had a, would have people gunning for it and, and really participating um, a little more than they are but you know you start there and, and do each of those and you figure out how many you can do and like I said the whole community on average was doing like eight every three minutes you know and, that, and it just, that's not enough and, and, and I, from what I hear yesterday um, let's see in here um, let's see let's go back to my posts let's actually go back to my comments there we go PC monthly challenge it's uh it says it's coming with easy match county completion y'all come step up <laughs> help us out that's not gonna happen then the guy on ps4 says i don't i think it's a lost cause now even ps4 is not even I mean, somebody on ps4 said they were like two hundred and twenty thousand or something like that they were like about eighty thousand more than we were and they have a much higher player count like probably two-thirds higher than we do um so I just basically told him, hey, man, I was spot on with my numbers. Check out and check out my page. Um, check out my uh, post here. And, yeah, it's like everybody, if you look at the, the, the posts in here, everybody was, yeah, these are crazy numbers. And then here's what, here's what the official uh, Ubisoft um, moderator came back. Ubikiba came back and says, I'll make sure the team is aware of the concerns regarding the numbers for the community challenges <laughs> yeah it easily and then I, p I put back uh, yeah please do 
And while you're at it, could you please lobby on our behalf to Ubisoft to possibly go ahead and gift us the GRW community, the whole community, that one spec op craze that we had no feasible chance of winning. And they never, she never replied to that particular thing. This guy replied, it seems only fair, kind and generous. And then she puts that, he put the, net, the same person replies again and says, crafted from pure unobtainium. And she replies back to him for the, for that with the, uh, oh, I don't, I, I don't want to bet how many times I read that and yeah, whatever, you know, but she did not comment directly back to my comment about gifting it. You know, talk to them about gifting it to us, because this just was not an unattainable goal, an obtainable goal. And they knew this from the get go. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much all I got for now. That's what uh, I had on my mind. A couple of things there: the the uh, voice actor for La Santera, and then the community challenge that crate that we had no chance of winning. <laughs> Until next time, happy hunting.